All right, so to make the trees sharper, I made a duplicate of the trees. I'm going to go ahead and put it at full opacity. And I'm just going to lasso, holding down shift, so I can add multiple trees to this selection. where I need them. And I'm creating with that one pixel feather the edge that I'm going to use. Because when you have three layers of depth, like I want you to have, foreground, middle ground, and background, it's the middle ground that becomes kind of the, the big focus. So you're looking past the foreground into the middle ground, and then the background is just what's behind. So it's really just the sides of these trees. I need not to appear so ghostly. I need to sharpen them up. So first I need those pixels. I might actually take this root as well, the back of this root, the fallen tree. Okay. Now I'm going to hit Command J, and that's going to duplicate all of those, turn off the layer I duplicated them from, and then, <laughs> it's a little gross looking, and then move them down below on top of my others. So I just made these because of some of these ghostly edges. Now, how do I make them match what's behind? I'm going to use dodge and burn and sponge if I need to. So there's not a lot of saturation. So first, I'm going to burn the midtones, 18%, burn them down. so that they match what I have. I'm going to turn my guides off. Unfortunately, sometimes you can burn a little too much, but that's where the eraser comes in. And that's why I did it as a duplicate. Okay, now I'm going to use my eraser and transition the tops. Computer just needs to catch up with me. Make it a little bit smaller, a little bit higher opacity, like 50%. Oh, that's too much. <laughs> Let's try like 20%. And transition it. Okay, now I can use the burn tool in a different way. This is the dangerous way to use burn. I'm going to burn the shadows. And when you burn the shadows, you need to be really mindful that it's easy to get to solid black. And if you get to solid black, you can't pull anything out of that. But if I'm careful with it and I burn the shadows, I can actually make it so there's a bit of a directional light source on these. by burning one side more than the other. Same thing with dodging highlights. So to, to my eye, this is a big improvement on this. You know, it just has more presence. And so that's the last thing I'm going to do before I do my final crop. And for that, I'm going to use my guides. I'm going to find the edges. I want to crop to, and then I'm going to use my crop tool, and it should stick to those guides. Or you can just draw your crop lines around, but you just want to make sure you don't have any gaps. So I'm going to check my corners quickly by zooming in 
and after it's cropped, I'm just going to make sure that the corners don't have any like white space or any jogs by hitting Command Plus, going right to the edges, making sure they look pretty clean. There's a little bit there. Up, oh, that was just wrapped, just processing. A little bit there, it's processing. Yeah, pretty cool. And this will give you kind of a nice close-up look at your composite. And if you're like me, it will show you all the things you want to fix later. All right. So now we save it just as it is. <laughs> and hopefully you won't be like me and your scratch disks are full, which means I need to delete any extraneous layers. Unlock my sketch, delete my sketch from this. You don't want to have to delete anything, but if you have memory issues like my laptop, sometimes you do. And I can even merge certain things, like I can merge these background components. Oh, maybe not, actually. Should be able to merge these two, though. I kind of need all these layers, so I'm going to keep them. Surely I can merge my background layer with what's in front of it. Yeah, that's okay. All right, so this is our careful layering, and this is what we have. So. I'm going to say save as a copy in order to put it onto Canvas. And that copy is going to be a JPEG. And it should be saved with your name and some description. And go ahead and put it at the maximum quality. Usually we'll save a JPEG at qualities 10 to 12. And then you want to find it on your computer. I often just save it to the desktop. If it's a copy that's a JPEG and made to go online, I mark it with orange. And then I'm going to go to Canvas and post it. So you go to the assignment topic. I'm going to edit this process I've been giving you. All you are required to post is your sketch. So this thing, and then your final JPEG. So I'm going to call it. And all that detailed kind of edge work and cutting out and adjusting and playing with opacity and dodging and burning and internal compositing, all of that doesn't actually change the image too significantly from our rough cutouts because it's the composition that matters that gives us kind of the personality of the of the scene and all of that refined work for concept art really what that does is just help it be believably one image instead of five separate images and that's the requirement right to be informed by your sketch also, you want to see if you can identify foreground, middle ground, and background. And if it fits, these are things to reflect on. This might be a good presentation critique question for everybody. The theme that you came up with in the beginning, do you feel like you were able to deliver on the intentions of that theme by the end? So for mine, my theme was to be a moody, colorful forest with unusual trees in scale and shape, moss and sulfur pools at dusk, maybe a different galaxy, dangerous, muggy, and beautiful. So, yeah, I'll say, yeah, that works. Would I like more unique looking trees? Yes. But at least it's got a lot of variety there. Okay. Then you say done, and you have submitted.
then do make sure to save your work both as a JPEG and as a PSD. And it's a good idea to save it to your computer and then also to save it to your Adobe Cloud account. Okay. So you have access to it easily. So I think it's saved. It did. So you can always check if something's saved, if save is grayed out as an option. And then you can close it and save that memory. All right, that will do it.